Greetings, YouTubers of the verse. This is Arn Delft. So, first off, an announcement. XL Pudding has pre-ordered Dawn of War 3 Collector's Edition, and he should be getting the shipping details by Thursday, which means, you know, eventually it'll come in. Too bad they couldn't have done the deal with GameStop and we could just pick it up from there the moment the game was actually released. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? But, I don't know. Maybe in the future they'll do that. It's a good idea. Sadly, one of the few things GameStop's good for anymore since of the whole virtual takeoff, buying games virtually and all that. Kind of sad how they're being left behind, but they're staying current with buying virtual cards from them, actual consoles straight from them instead of having to order them from stores and whatnot, not to mention buying you know the pre-release and getting it the day it opens instead of having it shipped to you when that whole thing is going on. I mean, having to wait for it to get to you when you spent that much more money. That, to me, is a little bit of a nightmare. Ugh. Okay, second announcement. XL Putty and I will also be doing a review on the beta that we played. He played a lot more of it than I did due to the simple fact of I am much more storyline oriented as everyone who watches my channel knows. And while I do indeed review gameplay, he is a little bit better than that than I am. By a little, I mean more than a little. But in any case, uh, storyline, that's what I'm most eager for. I can't afford to buy Dawn of War 3 currently under any real circumstances due to the fact that I keep buying figures left and right on Utah's own Warhammer page. I had the unfortunate experience of seeing Vindicators go on sale and someone was selling them and that's all I can do not to buy one because money has reasons and reasons have <laughs> money. <clears throat> in any case, <clears throat> besides that, I've been continuing to work on my models. I am currently working on a Space Marine-based Sisters of Battle army where I am taking Space Marine models and custom making them into Sisters of Battle. Uh, I have multiple reasons for doing that. Uh, first and foremost that comes to mind is, well, what is the word for that? Uh, maybe rationality? I don't know. Probably not the right word for most people, but uh, basically it just makes more sense to me. I mean, their armor has next to no actual protectivity compared to an actual Space Marine's armor, yet supposedly from the same tech, Imperial, and provides nearly anywhere near the same strength or whatever. whatever. It's all cosmetics, but in any case, it is simply my strong preference to go that direction, especially considering how rare to simply non-existent plastic sister battle are, and I love modding. In any case, I have started my Canon S, and I will go ahead and showcase that in my next video, along with uh, one of my latest sergeants, who I reclaimed from gobbed paint. Like seven years ago, I bought some Marines and a whole Space Marine army on discount, and I just barely started stripping them. I know, delayed reaction much. And I'm finding all kinds of little treasures hidden amongst them that I never knew were actually there. So um, I'm getting on that. Whew. Besides that, um, yeah, pretty much everything else is covered. I am very much excited for Dawn of War 3. Uh, oh, 8th edition. Um, I've heard a lot of rumors coming out about 8th edition, a lot more than uh, a lot more than I can cover in one video. But one of the things that I've heard about, Initiative is now gone. Uh, actually, I think that's canon. That That's for sure. That's not a rumor. Initiative is now gone, and the rumor is, is that it's been replaced by movement. In other words, they're finally accurately representing all movements, and the example that they use is that Eldar will be moving faster than Guardsmen, and that Tyranid uh, Termagants, or Hormagants, or whatever they call them, I think Termagants are the melee ones, move faster than Eldar. So, and the rumor is that um, when they close in the melee, the ones that have the f higher movement also have the higher initiative, which makes sense. It really does. That actually does make sense, and I like that concept. The faster you move, the faster you are. 
It's just the way things are. And I'm very much into that concept. It not only simplifies the game, but it makes sense. Who oh, no. knew? Stuff actually happens sometimes. Uh, another rumor I heard that I really don't like is invulnerable saves will now be gone. I strongly dislike that. Um, but it opens up other possibilities. I started thinking about what's a different way to add in invulnerable saves. Considering that, you know, let's say there's a weapon that's rending three. You know, it negates three away from your armor. Um, you take a weapon that has rending three versus terminators, for example, but the terminators have an invulnerable save. And in this instance, we'll say it's an invuln two save. But the reason why I say two, which would seem insanely good, according to the old style, throwing in my new personal kind of style, the x Pudding Pudding's actually the one who came up with, so I'm crediting this to him. Um, the invulnerable two save actually takes two off of things like rending, or, you know, which will be the new armor piercing. So instead of being rending three, it would go down to rending one because of the Terminator's invulnerable save, and would only, uh, instead of taking the Terminator's two plus save down to a five plus save, it would only take it to a three plus save. I think that's an awesome idea, personally speaking, and would actually make a lot more sense Considering that you'll have certain perks once in a while that will give guardsmen, like, oh gosh, there was flak guardsmen. Azrael, uh, I believe the chapter master of the Dark Angels, has the ability to give uh, anyone he's in the unit with a 4 plus and vulnerable save. And this guy was talking about how he gave a blob of a bunch of guardsmen a 4 plus and vulnerable save, which was better than their normal save. So, if you were to switch around what Invulnerable Save even does, that concept is actually epically awesome because it makes sense in multiple ways. And in that one, all the Invulnerable Save would really be doing is protecting um, that, that very sad 6 plus or 5 plus armor save on units like that from being negated by anything other than a uh, 3 rending. I personally love the concepts of that that XL Pudding came up with. It's not on the rumor mill. He came up with it. I credit it to him, and it's absolutely amazing. Now, the next item up on that rumor mill that I really don't like is uh, that they'll, along with the initiative being gone, uh, after initial combat has gone by that it's going to you know where's the initiative instead of doing it movement wise you know in other words the movement is the initiative that instead they might be age of sigmar and oh uh, i choose to attack first here and then it's your turn you get to choose to attack first there i don't particularly think that's balanced i think it's honestly really stupid and it doesn't really make any sense at all and I really really I really hope they don't do that no offense to Age of Sigmar players especially those that particularly love that style or whatever um, but I, I, I hate it I really do and when I was thinking about getting into Age of Sigmar and I heard about that it was an instant turn off I instantly said you know it's a great game I love the models the lore is actually quite interesting. Gotrek Gernerson, hope I didn't butcher his name because then he'll come and cleave me, is my one of my favorite characters across any realm, along with Felix. hope I remembered his name right. It's been a while since I read their books, but so awesome. I love their lore. Ah, uh, so cool. But yes, absolutely amazing in that concept, but the... The choosing, okay, that squad gets to go first, and then the squad gets to go first. It's a killer. It doesn't make sense balance-wise. It doesn't make sense fluff-wise or any other kind of wise. Just don't put wise in there. Just say fool thing. I don't know. <clears throat> Man, the amount of fantasy players I just horrendously offended. Or I offended half of them. The other half is screaming, yes, he is so right. But... Games Workshop, please, please don't go the Age of Sigmar way. Please. I love the movement concept of having that be the new initiative. That, to me, seems amazing. Please go that way. Uh, 
besides that, um, everything else, I either don't remember the rumors or uh, they weren't particularly sticking out in my head or I haven't found out about them yet. But in any case, I uh, have covered just about everything. If anybody has any comments, please leave it in the comment section below. Love to hear from you. It would be absolutely awesome to actually, you know, get a conversation going with people, you know, if they agree with me, disagree with me, what they agree with me on, what they disagree with me on. Excel putting and I have been bouncing this around for a while, so hopefully I get to hear from you. Yeah. In any case, uh, I'll go ahead and drop that there. Um, if you like this video, go and give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, ponder on that. Figure out why, because it's genuinely important to know why. And if you're new to this channel and you channel and you genuinely enjoy this content consider subscribing in any case don't y'all get into too much trouble or do it's always up to you toodles